Scientists have long thought that volcanic eruptions are caused by the buildup of pressure from the slow accumulation of bubbling, gas-saturated magma beneath a volcano over decades or centuries. However, new research suggests some eruptions may be triggered just days or months before an eruptive event, by the rapid formation of gas bubbles in the magma chamber at a very late stage in its life. A team of researchers from the universities of Oxford and Durham, UK, working with the Vesuvius Volcano Observatory in Italy, have studied the Campi Flegre volcano near Naples to demonstrate this phenomenon. We have shown for the first time that very slow processes in the development of a magma chamber can trigger explosive eruptions, perhaps within days to months. This has significant implications for the way we monitor active and dormant volcanoes, suggesting that signals we previously thought were indicative of pre-eruption activity, such as seismic activity or ground deformation, may actually indicate extended periods of inactivity between eruptions, said Mike Stock, lead author of the study, from the Department of Earth Sciences at the University of Oxford. The results suggest that changes in the composition of gases emitted by volcanoes on the Earth's surface could be a better sign of an impending eruption than seismic activity and ground deformation. These changes could potentially provide an early warning signal. The Campi Flegre volcano last erupted in 1538, but has recently shown signs of unrest. Scientists have studied crystals of the mineral apatite ejected during the ancient volcanic eruption. Apatite minerals act as time capsules, and by observing their composition at different times during the evolution of the magma body, researchers have shown that the magma that eventually erupts spends most of its life in a bubble-free state becoming gas-saturated only for a short time before the eruption. In these conditions of slow magma chamber growth, earthquakes and ground deformation on the surface may not be signs of an impending eruption, but simply track the arrival of new magma chambers at depth. Now that we've shown that this approach works on a particular volcano, and given that apatite is a mineral found in many volcanic systems, it's likely to stimulate interest in other volcanoes to see if similar patterns emerge," said Professor David Pyle of the University of Oxford's Department of Earth Sciences, one of the study's authors. It will also help us refine our ideas about what we want to measure at our volcanoes and how we interpret the long-term monitoring signals that observers traditionally use.